As Black History Month comes to an end, we are learning about a pioneer whose refusal to give up her seat has etched her a spot in history. Okay, this sounds like we're talking about Rosa Parks, but in fact, this pioneer was riding a train from Nashville to Houston when she showed her act of bravery. Keith Garvin has the story of Gertrude Jane Stone. Then the times were so unjust, something had to happen. The name Rosa Parks and her refusal in December of 1955 to give up her bus seat are synonymous with the Civil Rights Movement. But later that month in the same year, Houston native Gertrude Jane Stone made a similar stand. After graduating from Yates High School, Stone attended Fisk University in Nashville, Tennessee. On a train ride back to Houston for the holidays, Stone was ordered to move to the all-black Jim Crow section, but refused. A city policeman boarded the train to arrest me, but I continued to sit. At another point, Stone's belongings were confiscated and she says she was harassed by several men along the train ride. But she continued to sit, even refusing to go to the restroom. I knew I was right, so I should not have to go to a particular seat in a particular coach. I had the right to sit on the train wherever I wished. Stone's name and her stand on that train in 1955 may not be a well-known story, but she moved back to Houston and was able to call her own shots and live a life of freedom, free to write her own legacy for the next generation. When they hear the name of Gertrude Jane Holiday Stone, I want them to say that was a lady that really tried to do her very best for her community and her fellow man. After returning to Houston with her husband, Stone was married for 60 years and raised a family here. She became a teacher and spent more than 20 years with the Houston Public Library System and 10 years of volunteer work with the United Way. Keith Garvin, KPRC Channel 2 News.